tasted good. Not as good as yours? Oh, it's better than the one yesterday, that's for sure. You know what? That I made. <laughs> I put a little bit of honey in it. Oh, yeah. Give it some sweetness. That's, this is very good. Okay, good. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another day in the life vlog. I figured I would just keep these rolling for you guys. You seem to really like them. We're not doing anything too exciting or crazy. So sometimes I'm like, is this totally boring? But I'm just going to keep them coming because you guys have asked for them. Um, I wanted to kind of update you on how we are feeling at this point. I think today is April 2nd. Um, you guys are probably gonna see this actually tomorrow, but I don't know. I don't even, I don't even know where to start, to be honest. Um, you guys know I always, always come here in the most um, positive light that I can possibly be, and that is what I always want this channel to be about. I never, ever wanna come to you when I'm in a negative space because I want this to be just a place that uplifts you, but I am also human. And to tell you that I have not been a little bit negative or a little bit anxious over the past couple of days would be a lie because I totally have. Um, I have like not literally gotten ready or put on makeup or gotten myself dressed in days and this morning i was like okay i have to do this i have to get up and get ready just to make myself feel a little bit better and kind of try and pull myself out of this like space that i have been in and you probably noticed i've been kind of quiet over on social media like instagram and stuff and honestly that's just because if i am not going to bring you the most positivity to brighten your day i really don't want to come on social media so um that's kind of like where i've been and i told you guys over there um since last thursday so one week from today i have been having just like some crazy heart palpitations and to be honest, over the weekend, they were very, very scary. They were coming every couple of minutes, even faster than that sometimes. And I was scared to death and they have gotten better. They are more sporadic now, like kind of every couple of hours or so. Sometimes they're more than that, but for the most part, they're kind of just like a couple of times. I say a couple of times all the day. It's more than that, but at least like once an hour or once every couple of hours. But um, I called the doctor this morning. They're supposed to be calling me back to let me know if I need to come in or get an EKG or whatever. I've had them since I was younger, so like it doesn't scare me too bad, but I usually get them like once a month, not multiple times a day. So I don't know. I think it's because I could be more anxious than I think that I am over everything that's going on. Um, so that's kind of an update as to where I've been and where I've been in my head. Um, but I also wanted to share some things that have been helping me and that are bringing me lots of happiness and joy. And one of those things is just getting in the kitchen with Bunky, whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or all three, to be honest, just like kind of being in the kitchen together and cooking and just spending time together laughing. That has just brought me so much happiness. And then doing my devotion and spending time with Jesus every day, putting on worship music, that always makes me feel very calm and at ease and very happy so those things have really been helping me i have so many projects around our house that i really want to get to i just have not had the motivation to do them like honestly over the past like week i have not had the motivation to do anything but i told myself like i have to change that i'm so big about like changing your perspective i always can pull myself out of like a bad mood or a negative space and for some reason this past week i really haven't been able to do that i really think that it's because i'm such an extrovert um that it's kind of just like so much change just being home all the time and i love being home also like i feel like i'm an introvert and an extrovert um I don't know i don't know what it is but it's been very hard for me to like pull myself out of it so i like made a promise to myself that if i was gonna like have to do this for another month or who knows how long like try and see the good in it like what a blessing that we have a roof over our head and food in our refrigerator and um we are healthy and happy and like 
I try to see all of the positives and so that's really helped me and I've made a promise to myself like today I'm gonna get up and get ready and I'm gonna do things around our house I'm gonna keep myself busy all day I'm actually doing like a girls night with a bunch of my YouTube friends tonight over on zoom and I am so excited to just like see them and spend time with them I don't think they even like realize how excited I am sorry I don't get emotional but I'm just like so excited to like see them and spend time with them and just talk and have girl time i'm so 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 excited so i cannot wait for that so today's gonna be a really really good day i am not gonna get emotional i feel like i've been crying for days on end <laughs> to be honest with you guys but not today it's gonna be a very very good day so anyways let's go ahead and get to all the things today so i wanted to show you a few things that i want to do today i need to change out my garden flag and i was trying to decide which one i was gonna use i think bunky's mom actually got me this new one it just has like an o in black and white with like a little um just like a little rose on there or maybe it's a um it's not a rose it's a peony um i love that one this one i think is like so springy it's really really pretty but since easter is coming i think I'm gonna do this happy Easter one. And then once Easter is over, I'll probably change it out to one of these. And then also I wanted to show you this little project that I'm gonna do. So I've had these two jar slash vases for years, probably like seven or eight years. And I never use them anymore because I don't have like a lot of this mercury glass in our house but i love the shape of these two vases so i've never gotten rid of them and i actually saw a picture on pinterest i cannot find it. i'm gonna try and show you like something similar um basically i saw a picture on pinterest that had like these matte black vases this is not the picture and it was on top of like this wooden credenza and it looked so beautiful with just like one stem of greenery in there kind of like sorry it's not focusing kind of like these this is not the picture either but you get the point so i like ordered this matte black spray paint so i think i'm going to spray paint these basically you're probably like girl you're crazy to spray paint these but we don't use them and i've had them for years so i might as well spray paint them and use them um and then this is the greenery that i wanted to get to put in them they're from target um they have a small stem this one's 4.99 this is kind of like what it looks like and then they also have a larger one i really want to get that one too i ordered these and my transaction went through and then an hour later they messaged me and said they were out of stock so i'm so sad i'm like waiting on pins and needles for them to come back in stock and i'm gonna get them and then put them in these so hopefully that's gonna turn out really good and then i also have this blue paint i probably won't do this today but eventually and i think i'm going to get a sponge i share this over on my instagram another blogger that i follow she basically just like took this paint and like a cleaning sponge and cut off the edges so it's not so like harsh lines and then then made like designs on her um bathroom let me let me see if i can find it okay so this is it um she did this design it's not wallpaper her handle is a southern confession by the way if you want to follow her but um she just took that paint and literally a sponge and made these different designs and how pretty is that bathroom so, so i want to do it somewhere nine, see and that's all you need for and so I want to do it somewhere in our house, either in a bathroom. I think I might even do it in two different bathrooms, but so pretty. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> okay, do you shake first? Who knows? Can you tell I've never really spray painted anything? <laughs> All right, here goes nothing. Okay, 
it's lunchtime now. Bunky and I are gonna have some of these little non pizzas for lunch. B wants some salami on his. What else? Cheese of some sort. Yes. We made like this really nice, really nice. We made this really good um, pasta last night, and there's like this sauce leftover. So I might use this as my pizza sauce, and then just top it with some mozzarella. I'm basically having my traditional style spinach, but I need cheese. Okay. I guess just oh yeah, feta. You can sprinkle some feta on there too. We have regular pizza sauce. Can you do that? No, no, no. I want some of this onion on there too. I might put a little bit of this pizza sauce on mine. You put onion? Oh, yeah. oh lord. Lots of it. You better not. I'm put a whole onion on there. You better fix that clock. But take it off the wall right now. <laughs> What does it take? Just this one battery. That's all you have to Pop do. Pop that bad boy out of there. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe this is all you've had to do this whole time. I can't get it out. Try it from the other side. Got it. What, what is that? A double A? Double A. Reach Which I'm in, sure we have. Reach in this drawer here. Somewhere the there is the a bag. battery. That's our junk drawer. Is this double A? I believe so. Yep. Other way. God, this thing is like tight as crap. You got it? I can't get it in there. You got it. No. What time is it? It is 12.24. Just do 12.25. There we go. We have a working clock, friends. Okay, let's make some pizza. Which one do you want? The big one? Whichever. I'm okay. We absolutely love these little non bread pizzas. We have made so many different creations and literally start to finish, they take less than 10 minutes. I think the packaging calls for like three to four minutes in the oven. We usually do five to six. And this time, Bunky actually ended up putting his on the direct rack in the oven and it made it so crispy and just so yummy. So if you guys have never tried these, you need to. It is the perfect way to have like an easy pizza night for your family and everyone can kind of create their own. Okay. okay. Now what? Well, let's cook. Let's go ahead and just cook mine a little bit and yours together. You want your salami to be like hardening in the oven? I'm going to, um, What, Bunky? What are you gonna do? I want my this cheese to be. I want to make sure my cheese is melted. I know, but your onion needs to cook too, so it gets softer. All right, I'm just going. We're just whatever. We're just going there. You gonna be mad if I put all this on here? Uh huh. But I guess you're going to. You can't waste it. <laughs> Look at all that, Bunky. That is redonkulous. It's only like the equivalent of one slice of onion, not even. I'm scared that the smell of it is going to get on mine. I tried to tell you to cook them separately, Bunk. Look at all that delicious onion. Oh, Lord. Are you going to put your salami on or no? I kind of want to start it like that. Are you not going to pull yours out after just a few minutes? Okay, yeah. Just come on. Let's put it in the oven. I can't touch it. Okay. Move that thing. I could touch it. Move that thing. Okay. Okay, open the oven for me. I just told you I can't touch it. But, but I can't do all the hands. Bunky, our entire house smells like onions now. It's not true. Bunky, you just came in here and said the same thing. How are you going to tell me it's not true? Okay, it is true. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think I'm just going to take mine off because it's pretty much done. That's what you And think. you keep doing you. Yep. Gosh, this smells good. 
Look at that alternation of the pattern. I like it. If only we had some prosciutto. Yep. It smells. It's it smells like a legit pizzeria in here. Yeah, it does. You know why? Why? The onions. Oh my gosh. I got mine out a few minutes ago. It is so yummy. Now Bunky's gonna get his out. I'm trying my plate off that I used a minute ago. Still rocking business on top. Casual on bottom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bunky, your thing is like charred. Nah, it's beautiful. It is crispy. <laughs> Wow. Looking good, yo. Okay, okay. The feta, like the little, oh my gosh, it just looks so good. Big in. Mm-hmm. Bon appetit. Okay, so this is hilarious. I totally <laughs> forgot that before all of this quarantine stuff happened, I had went to Hobby Lobby and gotten a few things for like Easter decor, and I just now remembered about them. So, I took kind of all of this stuff off of my little tray. I was like, you know what? I might as well go ahead and decorate it for Easter. So, that's what I'm going to do. I got this cute little um, carton of eggs and then this really pretty lavender little wreath. I'm not sure how I'm going to use that yet. And then, if you guys remember, I picked these up at the dollar store. Came like two in a pack. I really want to plant actual like real flowers in here. Um, so... Once all this is over, I will do that. But for now, I may just use them to decorate and maybe put some Easter eggs in or something like that. Hi. Hi. Tell us what you're making, Bunky. I'm a, uh, show us the throw I'm a, us a jar. I'm making amazing grass. Oh my gosh. Like what are we even doing in this house at this point? We're going crazy. Bunky ordered <laughs> these green superfoods. He's been drinking them every day. Yep. That is just not look appetizing if you ask me. I mean, I'm not doing it for the flavor. <laughs> it's for the health benefits. We do need to add some to our smoothie though. We've been trying to have a smoothie at least like every other day. Yeah, we were doing good. Yeah, oh look at that nice chunk there. Ew, bonky. Need to get that blended in. It literally tastes like grass. It tastes like the earth. I can't with it. It's you. delicious. Okay, y'all. I'm still over here playing with this thing. I just cannot figure out what I like because I want to use these but then I feel like it's kind of like big on there and then I love these but the green doesn't really match the other green on there so it kind of looks weird um I love this little setup with this birdhouse but I feel like it needs something else right here I can't figure it out and then this is just like a um napkin ring from Hobby Lobby and I just like set my little egg in there with the little moss balls so I love that but it needs something behind it so I'm still playing that's why I just said the green don't match the green. See? I want to put this in the bunny, but... Well, that's where it was. <laughs> you decorate it, Bunky. No. <laughs> Let's see your decor skills. Mm-mm. No. I think the bunny's too big for down there. You do? Yeah. What? Oh, man. I know what you can do. Oh, tell us. See, you can decorate. You could fill the, the bunny up with candy. For you? <laughs> yeah, like M&M's. Okay, we don't have any. I know. Better order some Target pickup. I don't know, Bunky. I just can't figure it out. Like, it needs something right here. I think the carrots seem like the most normal or natural thing that you would put. Yeah. But don't you just like the greens kind of clash? No. I don't. You really don't? No. Well, let's try to sit in this one here, too. Well, now they're blocking the entrance to the birdhouse. <laughs> well, the birds aren't going in there. They need to be able to if they wanted to. <laughs> You're crazy. Okay, maybe I'll leave it. I, I kind of like the green. I guess they can get around it. Okay. I don't know. I'm just going to leave this down here, too. Okay, 
and I'll also show you guys what I did over here. So I just took this little wreath and put this $1 little basket that I got at Dollar Tree in here. I've had this big, I think that's a peony. I don't know. I had this big fake flower for forever. And then I got this little green bunny at Hobby Lobby last year. I have a little moss ball in there. And then I tucked this like glass vase right there behind it and put all of this lavender and I think it looks so cute and very springy. So I did that here and then I just took down this little like greenery wreath from up here and put this little burlap um, Easter egg thing tree that I got at Target years ago. Um, so that's it. That's like all my little spring things. Oh, and then I showed this over on Instagram, but if you guys don't follow me there, I also put together this little tray in our living room. I think these little bunnies are so cute and I just love the green and black and white together and they match the pillows and then of course this little pop of pink so that is kind of all of my Easter decor it's not too much but it definitely like adds a little touch of brightness and cheerfulness to our house Okay, so it's actually a little bit later now. My doctor called me and they sent in a prescription for me to just have something to help with my heart palpitations. And my pharmacy is actually the one inside of Target. I totally did that on purpose like years ago. Just so anytime I had to go, I could go to Target, you know, you get it. So anyway, um, I called to see if they could do like a Target pickup and just bring it out to me so that I didn't have to go inside, but they could not. They did say that they could um, ship it to me, like mail it, but it would take at least two days to get here so I did just decide to go ahead and go in and grab it and I was like well while I'm in there I might as well try and get a few groceries because we were kind of running low on chicken um I say we were running low on coffee but really I had five jugs left but I just want to make sure I have enough so I got three more um so I was like let me go ahead and just pick up a few things while I'm in here so I was like well I might as well give you guys a little grocery slash target haul um the two little floral stems I was telling you guys about earlier to go in my vases they actually had them in store so I don't know why it would not let me order them the other day but um, they had them so I got them in a cute little vase so I did pick up a few things while I was there and I figured I might as well show you guys some I'll be around and give you my little Target grocery haul. So I'll just start over here and kind of work my way down. I did get this bra yard by like this is way <laughs> TMI but it was only $9.99 and I thought that was such a good price and it's just like a really soft kind of like a little t-shirt bra so I picked that up and and then I also got this beautiful blue and white vase. You guys know I am like all about blue and white right now. Um, this one was $15 and I think it's going to look so pretty over in our sunroom. You know, I'm kind of using that color scheme over there and I just thought it was beautiful. So I picked that up. It was actually kind of fun to go in and do a little bit of home decor shopping. Um, and then these are the floral sprigs that I was looking for or that I tried to order before. I think they're just really cool looking. They are $4.99 and they're part of the um, hearts and hand line. And then I was almost out of like all of my girly stuff all at once. So I made sure to get everything while I was in there. And if you guys remember, I told you I would let you know how I like this. I started using it I guess a little over a month ago um, and I love it so I definitely repurchased it it's a great like very inexpensive dry shampoo and it does give lots of volume so if you're in the market for one that one is really good and then this is the deodorant that I love so I picked up one of those we were like about out of body lotion I've never tried this brand before but hopefully it will be good and then this is like Target's version of the Aveeno shaving cream which is like what I love so I went ahead and got this one since it's less expensive and and it's just very gentle soothing all of that good stuff and then I just got some more hand soap and then these are Bunky's little treats I got him one of these little mini figures you guys know he loves those so I got him one of those and then he also loves Dove dark chocolate and we don't have any at home so I picked these up it's kind of like his little Easter treat and then these starburst jelly beans all of like the pink ones are my treat oh my gosh I don't even like jelly beans or sweets but I love these they are so yummy and then I got a package of the ranch seasoning mix. We are about out of our big like container of it. And y'all know I cannot live without ranch seasoning. But I only like to buy the big container at like Walmart. I think it's a little bit less expensive. So I just got a package of it to hopefully hold us over until I can go to Walmart. And then um, I got a Lunchable because I love the extra cheesy ones. So yummy. And then some blue cheese, bananas. Like I told you guys, three more coffees. I mean... It would be a sad day in the Bunky household if I ran out of coffee. <laughs> and then um, 
oh by the way before you tell me I have been only having like less than half the amount I was having before since my heart started hurting so I'm trying to have like any caffeine other than my one little cup of coffee in the morning just so you know um and then I got Bunky some salsa baby wipes that's probably TMI too but we like to have baby wipes um some spaghetti some red potatoes I found two packages of chicken so that was awesome that's really what we wanted like I think we only have one or two little bags left in our freezer, so I definitely wanted to find some chicken. And then um, a jar of salsa. This is for a paint project. I think I told you guys about it earlier, but I needed some little sponges. And then I got my two favorite bottles of water, some Cheez-Its, I already got into those on the way home, um, some milk, and I think that is everything. It was kind of nice, I almost needed to go just because I was like out of all of these things and I found some chicken, restocked our coffee, so I feel kind of relieved that I was able to go in there and just kind of restock a few things. So that is my little Target haul. Okay, and one more thing before I wrap up this video. I wanted to show y'all, I moved our Keurig. I was like, I just don't love it. You guys know I'm forever playing around and I'm just so much happier with this. So I put our little tear tray here with our little mini blanket ladder and I just think it looks so cute and very springy and it gives a lot more space over here. So I left this and then I just put our Keurig over here which takes up a lot less room than you think. So it worked out perfect. And then um, over here I just have our mason jars with our sugar and flour in it that were over there on the other side. So I think it looks a lot better. It's so pretty. And I love our little lights underneath our cabinets. That was like the best money I've ever spent. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you had lots of fun. I'm gonna try and keep these vlogs coming as long as I can find something entertaining to share with you guys. I know they are kind of crazy and random and all over the place, but honestly, that is our life right now. If you are new, be sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave and give this video a thumbs up. I love you all so much. I hope you are doing great, and I'll see you the next one. Bye, y'all.